From the legendary woolly mammoth to the wacky dodo bird, here are 10 extinct animals scientists are trying to bring back to life. Number 10. Woolly Rhino There is so much attention put on the woolly mammoth that almost nobody talks about the woolly rhinoceros. Nonetheless, a recent discovery of a baby woolly rhino which roamed the planet somewhere around 10,000 years ago has put new hope into the chances of resurrecting this extinct creature. The baby rhino was found by a hunter and businessman frozen in a riverbank in Siberia and was donated to be studied. According to scientists from the Yakutian Academy of Sciences in Russia, it's the only complete young specimen of woolly rhino ever found. But the real story here is that some scientists believe that if DNA can be acquired from this specimen and the animal's genome can be sequenced, scientists could possibly bring it back from extinction by cloning its DNA and then breeding the DNA using its closest living relative. This is a process called de-extinction, which is worth learning more about today. While the process is still a little complicated for scientists to master, these are the first steps into bringing back the incredible extinct species. If mastered, it opens up the door for a whole world of resurrection, and unfortunately, dinosaurs are probably out of the question. It's highly unlikely that scientists could use T-Rex DNA to lay a dinosaur egg using a chicken. Number 9. The Caspian Tiger The Caspian Tiger is one of the newest animals to have gone extinct. Until the 1960s, this subspecies of tiger was one of the largest cats that has ever lived on Earth. It roamed through Asia, primarily in the area surrounding the Caspian Sea. This means that the tiger lived in parts of Turkey and Iran, and even in some parts of the desert in western China. The Caspian tiger weighed at least 300 pounds when it was alive, and it could grow a maximum of 12 feet from its end of its tail to the tip of its skull. While the tiger has been extinct for around 60 years, there is hope that scientists can now bring it back from the dead. There has been some research published in the scientific journal Biological Conservation in which researchers detailed their hopes of resurrecting the Caspian tiger. Apparently, there are still some endangered Siberian tiger species living in the far east of Russia and two of the subspecies have very common ancestors with the Caspian tiger. These subspecies are so similar on a genetic level that scientists are hoping to breed the Caspian tiger back into existence using these subspecies of Siberian tiger and a bit of scientific voodoo. They have already chosen a spot in Kazakhstan that would be able to support at least 100 Caspian tigers in the next 50 years or so. They are planning to reintroduce prey into the area and then monitor the tigers as they breed until the Caspian tiger is once again thriving. Number 8. The Aurochs The Aurochs is not quite as exciting as a tiger or a woolly mammoth, but they are still pretty neat. These animals are the ancient wild ancestors of modern cattle. They had large horns, incredible strength, and inspired fear and awe until they were brought to extinction in 1627. As you can imagine, people have kind of forgotten about these relatively boring animals. There was an attempt to resurrect them in the 1930s, but it failed. However, with a new generation of biologists on the case, scientists are hopeful that they can combine traits of the extinct aurochs with modern cattle to basically regrow the species. With ancient DNA being analysed from fossilised aurochs, the process is getting underway. There are already efforts to establish herds of cattle that have the features of aurochs. In essence, places in Europe that have been ravaged by agriculture and hunting are now hopefully being repopulated by those same extinct animals. But the first step in doing this is to recreate the easiest animal of all, which is essentially just an old cow from the 1600s with cool horns and a lot of muscles. Have you spent a lot of time on a farm? Could you imagine a farm full of extinct creatures like the aurochs? Let me know about your farm experiences in the comments section below. Then, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay up to date with all the latest videos coming out right here on Epic Wildlife. Number 7. The Dodo Bird The Dodo Bird is definitely the most popular extinct animal. Everyone on Earth knows what a dodo bird is. In popular culture, they are often shown as being goofy animals that were so dumb that they brought themselves to extinction. However, that's not actually what happened. These flightless birds were native to Mauritius until the 1600s when humans discovered and inhabited the island. Once people showed up and began hunting, they ate all of the dodo birds. But now, an outstanding 400 years later, scientists are thinking it's time to bring the dodo back. In a report from Express News, it turns out that scientists have effectively identified the overall genomic structure of some dinosaurs that are closely related to the dodo bird. By using the genome of these dinosaurs, the scientists are hoping to bring the dodo back to life. But the dodo bird is only the first. Scientists are saying that the first step to bringing dinosaurs back to life is bringing back extinct birds. This is because they share so much DNA. 
If scientists can actually bring the dodo bird back into existence, we will be well on our way to building a very real Jurassic Park. Unfortunately, there has been no timeline created as to when we may see a dodo bird. Under the right conditions, scientists can hopefully bring back the dodo bird and even the passenger pigeon. After that, we can start talking about dinos. Number 6. The Woolly Mammoth Scientists may be on the verge of resurrecting the woolly mammoth. It all starts with a group of hunters in the remote and largely uninhabited region of northern Siberia who hunt every summer to try and find a perfectly formed woolly mammoth tusk somewhere in the melting permafrost. The woolly mammoth went extinct 10,000 years ago, but that was near the end of the last ice age. Because the Siberian ice is melting so quickly now, there are a lot of woolly mammoth fossils and other remains being revealed that are in pristine condition. Some remains have even been found that included flowing blood, fur and flesh. They don't want to clone the mammoth, they want to create a new one using synthetic biology. Even though the Siberian hunters are searching for tusks to sell for a profit to China, they sometimes stumble upon well-preserved remains that they then donate or sell to science. Because of these discoveries, we are well on our way to creating a new woolly mammoth. Since 2015, there has been a dedicated team led by a molecular engineer and geneticists from Harvard University with the singular goal of creating a mammoth and elephant hybrid. This means they would splice the genes of a woolly mammoth using all of those specimens found in Siberia with a living Asian elephant. They do share 99% of their DNA, so it is entirely possible. According to History.com, there are a few different efforts at work to bring back a mammoth. For example, scientists from South Korea have already figured out how to clone a dog, and these same processes could be utilized for a woolly mammoth. But as of yet, nobody has managed to create anything. Number 5. The Moa The Moa was a giant flightless bird that lived all across New Zealand before it went abruptly extinct in the 13th century because of overhunting. It's basically a big mean bird that kind of looks like an ostrich, but that's actually even meaner. There were nine different species of moa before they all went extinct, with the average being around four feet tall and the largest being ten feet tall. The biggest of all the extinct moa was easily twice the size of a lot of humans, and so it's no wonder that the new residents of New Zealand hunted them for their juicy meat. A team from Harvard University has now assembled an almost complete genome of this extinct giant bird. They did it by extracting DNA from a single toe bone that had been held at the Royal Ontario Museum in Toronto. With that DNA, scientists used the egg of a living bird to piece together all the important pieces of the moa's genome. With all this new information, the researchers are hoping to bring the moa back from extinction. Number 4. The Tasmanian Tiger The last Tasmanian tiger died in captivity in September of the year 1936. His name was Benjamin, and he was the very last of his kind. While this sounds like the beginning of an action movie, it was a real thing that really happened. The Tasmanian tiger appeared on the planet about 4 million years ago and went extinct mainly because of humans and disease. But like the rest of the animals on this list, the Tasmanian tiger is getting a new shot at life. Scientists believe it's possible to bring the tiger back from extinction. A new study published in the journal Nature, Ecology and Evolution claims that scientists have a complete nuclear genome of the animal. A team led by a very brilliant geneticist from the University of Melbourne used samples of tissue from an old Tasmanian tiger found in 1909 that had since been preserved in alcohol to properly map the entire genome. Unfortunately, even though the entire genome has been mapped, Professor Andrew Pask, who led the research team, told sources that a return would not happen in the near future. Apparently, they are still a long way away from resurrecting the animal. They would still need to develop a marsupial animal model to host the genome structure of the Tasmanian tiger, kind of like how woolly mammoth genes would be inserted into a modern elephant. Maybe we'll see this majestic animal reborn in another 100 years or so. Number 3. The Irish Elk The Irish Elk is one of the species currently up for being cloned. The exotic Irish Elk was at one time the largest deer on Earth. It had antlers that were 12 feet across and stood at least 7 feet tall. It existed in several different places across the world, not just in Ireland, and you can often find its antlers mounted on some old castle walls. There are many well-preserved fossils of this animal, which makes it an ideal candidate for cloning. One of the reasons the Irish elk is such a popular candidate to be cloned is because for years scientists have been curious about the exact circumstances surrounding its extinction. Some theories claimed that the Irish elk went extinct because its antlers grew so large that it could no longer lift its head, and it sometimes got tangled in trees. This led to a steep decline in population, 
and the eventual extermination of the entire species. Being able to bring it back to life would give scientists a much better understanding of this evolutionary debacle. Number 2. The Great Ark The Great Ark was a weird combination between a penguin and a puffin. These weird birds swam in the water and hung out on the shores of the North Atlantic. By the 1800s, humans had driven them to the brink of extinction, and then beyond, all the way to the great abyss of no return. However, a team of scientists is apparently trying to bring this weird bird back to life. Colonies of Great Ark used to be all across the coasts of Canada and Great Britain. It was their juicy meat, their pretty feathers, and their oil that made them such desirable targets. According to Earth Touch News, the last time a Great Ark was seen with human eyes was back in 1852. Today, only preserved specimens, old stories, and bones survive. The new organization trying to bring the Great Ark back to life is going to use their preserved DNA to edit the genome of one of the Great Ark's closest living relatives, the Razorbill bird. If it works, they will then be able to breed the modified Razorbills until they have created a new species that looks exactly like the Great Ark. It won't be the same bird, but it will be extremely close. Number 1. The Quagga the quagga is one of the weirdest animals ever. The animal was a close relative of the zebra, and it went extinct somewhere around 100 years ago. Just like zebras, quaggas had stripes. However, their stripes were only on the front half of their bodies. Otherwise, they were basically identical. They roamed all across South Africa for thousands and thousands of years in enormous herds until the European settlers showed up, decided they liked the look of them, and shot them in massive quantities until they went extinct in the 1880s. But here's where the story gets exciting. Unlike the other animals that went extinct in recent centuries, the quagga has actually been brought back to life. According to a report from CNN, scientists have in fact bred a beast that looks basically identical to the quagga using DNA and selective breeding. Scientists from the Cape Town University were able to reverse engineer the genes of the quagga because they still existed in the zebra. It's a little more complicated than that, but basically the researchers tweaked the genes of the zebra, then chose the babies of the zebra that looks the most like the quagga, tweaked their genes, and repeated the process. It's now been five generations of zebras, and researchers have seen a dramatic reduction in stripes, making the new zebras look much closer to the extinct quaggas. Of course, some claim that all the researchers did was make a zebra with less stripes. But there's no denying the fact that with DNA and selective breeding, humans can fundamentally change animals to their liking. If you could choose one extinct animal to bring back to life, which one would it be? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And come back soon for another awesome video.